Being the son of an Asian father, he of course also wanted me to become a doctor or a lawyer or a doctor. I became none of those things, but my friends are doctors. And one of my doctor friends asked this very good question to me that I thought I'd share with you. So my friend asked me, mindfulness is good and all, but how do you stay calm in a high stress environment such as a hospital? And I personally disagree with a lot of mindfulness teachers. I think my answer is rather unorthodox. For I say, don't be, don't be calm. Be stressed, be anxious, be nervous. It's fine. There are some environments that require this of you. However, make sure that you counterbalance correctly. That is to say, if you work hard, play hard. And the harder you work, the harder you have to play. Yin yang balance, right? It's okay to be in the fray and to be in a high stress environment if the counterbalancing is right. Now, you will see this phenomenon in all sorts of aspects, right? Such as in relationships, high drama, high passion, relationships with lots of fire. And same thing for your work, right? Um, whatever the right counterbalancing for you, if it's then either more drinking on weekends and more parties or more introverted activities and complete stillness. Doing this, you have something better than being calm. You will be balanced. And this is the thing that you really want, right? I personally believe, such as in certain martial arts, right? If you're able to carry your gentle, mindful smile while doing certain martial arts forms, then I think you may be doing it wrong. It's all right to be in hypnosis, in the focused mode, in the tunnel vision mode. It's all right, if it's balanced properly. Now, I of course do not work at a hospital. If your opinion differs, please let me know. I'd be curious to know. And of course, keep in mind, the choice is completely up to you how much you want to have stress and how much you want to have stress counterbalancing in your life. As always, I bid you the most wonderful rest of the week, dear audience. And Ami Tofu.